So we're in Madrid for the Fuse 2023 event. I'm here with a, a great lineup of speakers. I'm here with Lakshmi Mandiam from VMware, Samir Vuyuru from Amazon Web Services, and Kaniz Mardi from Deutsche Telekom. And they are here to talk about the, the global enterprise network and a new proof of concept that was announced during the Fuse event. So let's find out about this POC because it's quite unique, quite different. Uh, Lakshmi, if we can start with you, what was VMware's role been uh, in this new POC? We are uh, delighted to be part of the OGA and delighted to participate in this POC which, where we provided the software infrastructure um, at one of the remote sites. And this, this POC actually spans a couple of different remote sites using uh, AWS's backbone, which I'm sure they'll talk about more. Um, and uh, a local data center in uh, multiple locations in Germany and Prague. And we provided the software infrastructure platform at the remote site that included our Telco Cloud platform for RAN uh, and our service management and orchestration framework, SMO, which was globally orchestrating the workload and the application across these diverse locations. Uh, and Sammy, what did uh, AWS bring? It sounds like the, the, the backbone, certainly, but, uh, but what else? So we have infrastructure that we've deployed across all of these countries. Uh, right now we're active in about 215 countries slash territories worldwide. So in the United States, in the Czech Republic, and in Germany, uh, we are basically using not just our backbone, but our infrastructure to hold uh, the network function. Uh, in this case, from a partner, a mutual partner of all of us, um, Mavnea Networks. And so we were hosting that in our Frankfurt region, uh, allowing that mobile core to be deployed as a service and for it to be deployable worldwide uh, on demand. And Kenny, from the Deutsche Telekom perspective, uh, what did your team deliver for this? Okay, so before I get to what my team delivered, let's talk about the problem you're solving. Um, and the problem you're solving is basically a pent-up demand from the market for global seamless connectivity with a global reach. Um, enterprises are very much uh, tied and tested with MPLS-like quality of experience. However, the cost of MPLS is extremely, uh, is, is, is getting to be quite a bit of a challenge. Uh, so we are sensing demand for seamless global connectivity with single pane of glass, MPLS-like service quality, but simplicity, agility, and cost of SDN. And because of these reasons, of course, we could alone stitch this fabric for them. But to be able to go global, specifically across the Atlantic, we, uh, we, we, we wanted to try a very different approach rather than trying the end-to-end -end QoS, as has been tried many, many times. We decided to partner with a cloud provider, Global Interconnect. So what Deutsche Telekom is contributing to this um, uh, initiative is if you, if you consider a fan, so the fan has the blades which are reaching, which are basically circulating the air closer to the user, and the core is where the control is and which is connecting all the blades together. So I, the, the, the key premise of and this POC is the very first step of where we want to be. We want to build that global fan okay. with global presence of our access networks, working with partners like AWS and VMware to stitch a global, global grid, fabric of fabrics. So that's where we are. So I mean, people have talked about you know global networks before, there's been global connectivity, but this sounds like something, a step up more for the, the digital services age. So uh, Lakshmi, if I can come to you uh, to, to ask first, you know, why is this, different? How is this different and why is it important? I think it's really important. We're at this TIP event and we're, we, as part of the OGA, have been working towards assembling an ecosystem that could actually deliver on the promise of uh, a disaggregated network that can bring together multiple vendors, multi-cloud, so VMware on-prem hybrid cloud, working in concert with AWS to enable an operator like DT to really 
showcase the kinds of services that they could deliver to their enterprise customers. Because at the end of the day, it's really about monetization of the network. And the collaboration between the three companies to enable this demonstration um, was really, really important. And so from my perspective, proving that you can work in a multi-vendor ecosystem and rapidly showcase a new set of applications that can then be adopted by enterprise customers, um, really, really important. Uh, and, and that's why I was really excited about this POC. Okay. Uh, and Samir, from an AWS perspective, I mean, obviously AW work, uh, AWS works with all kinds of enterprises all over the world. Is this something different, something new that, you, that AWS is, has been involved with, uh, with, with other companies before? So we always work backwards from a customer demand. Okay. And this customer demand has been very vocal uh, when we listen to the feedback, which is, you know, you brought the ability to have compute on demand anywhere in the world. It's the same infrastructure, the same deployment methodology, the same operating system, if you will. And you've done it to other services like databases, like storage and so on. But connectivity still remained fragmented. And so we were absolutely pleased to partner with Deutsche as the first CSP to have this vision of building a global network. And with the VMware as well, because there's a lot of infrastructure out there that is still being deployed and has been deployed in the past with VMware, and we needed to stitch that infrastructure together uh, so that our customers would basically have the ease of use that they've been used to with AWS when it came to ordering connectivity and deploying applications on top, whoever it's from. And uh, from a Deutsche Telekom customer perspective, um, how is this different? Somebody might look at this and say, well, you know, uh, SD-WAN is the next step on from MPLS. So, but this seems like another step on just from this that. Is, this is SD-WAN with global reach and SD-WAN on steroids. So for SD-WAN, they could go to one service provider. This could be a cloud or a telco or a non-traditional service provider, but that the, the reach and the agility that they get, the flexibility is very limited. What this does is this is a world first fusion of public, private cloud and connectivity to give you the flexibility and the reach that as an enterprise you would want to have. Go on a very simple menu, select the locations that you want to stitch the compute and connectivity, provide the SLA, and voila, you're done. So can I just ask each of you then, uh, starting with you, Kanis, what happens next? You've got this POC, it sounds like it's been a success. What's the next step? Yeah, so Ray, this is only the first step. So we've started to scratch the surface on what would it entail to bring a cloud provider, a telco provider, and a software company together to create this global grid. Um, there will be many, many other steps on technology as well as business development front, and I'm excited to, uh, to be working with our partners on that. Okay, uh, and Samir, what do you think this uh, uh, opens up? Because then, I guess with it, these kind of developments, it sparks additional ideas and additional opportunities, is it? So, I'm really excited for our enterprise customers who are joint customers of all three of our companies. They can now stitch together a hybrid cloud anywhere in the world and get it operational within hours. What used to take months has now shrunk drastically. And, it's, and you're on the same network, really, regardless of whether you're deploying in uh, Africa or Latin America or uh, Asia, Europe, you name it. You are on the same network with the same provider there is no heterogeneity anymore that you have to manage and complexity that you have to manage. We are doing all the heavy lifting together. Excellent. Uh, and Lakshmi, finally, you know, what, where do you see this evolving? Where do you see this going? How excited do you think the enterprise community is going to be about this? I think this is the beginning of what's going to be an exciting phase of getting enterprise customers to take advantage of all the network uh, connectivity options that are available from the CSP, from 
from uh, hybrid cloud players, cloud hyperscalers. I think the fact that we can assemble this network, make it easy for them to deploy and manage, I think is really going to be a tipping point in terms of driving adoption of private networking, global enterprise networking, and for operators to be able to monetize it and bring new and innovative services to their customers. This is one example of a service that can be constructed with this multi-vendor ecosystem. I think there are many more to come. And what I would hope to see is that next year when we're here, we would actually have you know five or six customers showcasing all these exciting new services and applications that they're able to drive real outcomes with their bit lines of businesses or their customers based on the work that we've all done together. Okay, excellent. Well, it sounds like a, a fascinating development. And like you said, it'd be great to come back in a year's time and have some real world examples of how enterprises are taking advantage of this opportunity. So, Kaniz, Samir, Lakshmi, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rick.